Hi guys, I'm Macy and I'm back with another YouTube video. I thought I'd discuss something I've been wanting to talk about for a long time, which are toxic friendships. I think we place a lot of emphasis on toxic people, but we don't talk about when maybe that's intertwined with friendships. We always talk about it with family, things like that, but sometimes you can have friends who are actually like that, so I figured I choose this video to talk about that so as you know by now when I talk about things I usually like to do my makeup at the same time because um it gives me something to do with my hands because of my anxiety so so I'm using my elf hydration cream I don't know if you guys can see that I normally use that underneath my um, primer and all the products that I use, I usually try to remember to link them below. So today I'm actually wearing a half wig and I added some gray highlights in it to match my natural hair because I've accepted it now, I'm going gray, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not sure how gray I'll be by the end of the year, but I figured why not just embrace it now and get it over with. So today I'm gonna to be using the Julia's Place palette this is the pink palette called the Sweet Pinks. There's a plane passing. Sorry. Get the hot cup. Okay. So when discussing toxic friendships, I should be like an expert on it <laughs> by now. I really don't have many friends anymore because of that. I chose to kind of just stay close to people who have been there for me the longest. So as far as trying to develop new friendships, I've kind of given up on that because I don't know. I mean, I have friends online, you know, girls that I chatted with and were in the same sort of community when it comes to pinup or the beauty world or whatever but when I say friendships I mean like I know them online I don't know them personally I think I'm gonna tell a story from my last actual uh, friendship you know what I'm not sure if I should say where I used to work at for safety reasons so I may block that out I see how I'll see how I feel once I edit this Okay, so I used to work at a clothing store and ended up making friends with, you know, I can't remember if she was one of the new girls or if, I don't think that, I don't think that she was new. I think that I was new and she was showing me the ropes. I think that's how we became friends or whatever. It was just, it's the weirdest thing. Like, I can't even describe how this got to this point. But in the beginning, she was really awesome. Like, I saw her as a really good friend. Like, she was a close friend of mine. But I did get little signs here and there that maybe this friendship wasn't, you know, the right type of friendship. But I just, you know, when you're really young, you're not really looking for that. When you're really young, you assume that everybody is your friend, unfortunately. There's a saying my mother used to say, and I couldn't stand it. Because I would come home from school when I was younger and I'd be like, oh, mom, I made a friend. And she'd be like, well, you know, that's nice, but, you know, you don't have, you don't have friends yet. And I used to always get upset with her for saying it to me. Like, why are you telling me that? But, you know, when you're younger, you don't really understand why your elders are trying to give you certain information. You know, so I really didn't get what she meant. But now looking back, I see that she meant, you know... Watch your back. Don't call everybody your friend. One of the things that I should have known or maybe should have been a warning for me was her kind of obsession with um, things that I had, I guess. And I didn't, to me, have a lot. I just sometimes had pretty things, that's it. Or I like to wear, you know, my pretty stuff to work because it made me feel good and things like that. And I would always have my hair and different hairstyles and things like that. And... You know, one day she asked me, she's like, that must cost a lot. Like, you constantly, you know, changing your hair. And she ended up asking me, like, how can you afford to keep doing that? And then 
stupidly, you know, maybe I shouldn't have told her this, but I was like, oh, my boyfriend pays for it. And she's like, your boyfriend pays for your hair and everything? And I'm like, yeah, like he's my boyfriend. And she was genuinely like fascinated. Like she couldn't stop being fascinated with this. And I didn't get it. Like it's a lot of girls like that. Like I didn't get why him doing that for me was fascinating to her, but she became obsessed with it, you know? Every time I changed my hair, she'd go, oh, did he pay for this? He paid for that too? And I'm like, what the, what the hell? Like that's just, it was just, it got really, really strange, but I ignored it. One day he came to the job, my boyfriend at the time, and he bought me shopping bags because he bought me something. I can't remember where he brought this coat from. I can't remember, but he had the shopping bags with him. And she stared like you would never believe. I mean, she was like obsessed. Like she finally got a face to put to, you know, I guess everything she's been thinking. Couldn't say anything to him, but it's just her reaction was really odd. Like she was fascinated, like oh, wow, like I finally get to see just what the hell is going on here, you know? So you know, she asked me a lot more questions the next day after he picked me up, you know, like, oh, when does he work? Things like that. And wow, so he just pays for stuff and I don't know, she was kind of obsessed. It was weird, you know, but I ignored it. I ended up breaking up with him that year. And I didn't tell her why, and I'm not going to say why, but it was just a disaster. I ended up breaking up with him. I think she also expected me to, like, collapse, but I was just like, oh, it didn't work out, you know? Like, broke up. And there was a guy that worked there, and I remember when I told her, I was like, I think he's really cute. And she looked at him, and she was like, oh, yeah. I used to like him when I first started working here, but, you know, like, that's old news, whatever. So I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't see anything wrong with me liking him because you know she had told me that she no longer liked him like this was something that you know it was she liked him when she started working and it was over now after a while i realized that he liked me also you know from the flirting and things like that i realized oh he likes me too whatever so we set a date to go out oh yeah we went out and we had pizza and i remember um coming home and telling her about it like it was so great it was so awesome like i remember telling her this you know, that I really, really liked him, that he was awesome and stuff like that. I personally feel like this was the catalyst that caused her to really change like this. So sometimes I blame myself, but then, you know, that's wrong. You really shouldn't be blaming yourself for, you no know, toxic behavior, especially when you didn't do anything horrible to, you know, cause it or whatever. So... I just looking back now, I feel like, you know, that's what caused her to change. But then I feel like that's who she always was, you know? So, um, she got weird. Making little, this is after the date. This is after the date. She got really, really weird. She started to become odd. She started making weird comments, saying weird stuff, like to insult me. We were standing around and the managers at this job they were always really gorgeous like i mean like i mean i remember telling her about one of the managers i liked and i'm like you probably won't be interested in me like that's what i told her like you know like look at him she you know says to me you're are you crazy like you have a great face like your face is nice and i know most people will look at that and say oh that's a compliment but i'm not stupid and i'm a woman i know what that means women tend to say that as a snarky remark by saying you know everything else about you sucks but you have a great face that's how i took it but i didn't say anything because i couldn't prove that's how she meant it but that's definitely how I felt. I'm really skin, skinny, so I'm always self-conscious about my and being too small, and she knew that. So this is why I said it was a snarky remark, you know, to imply that, yeah, your body does suck, but you have a nice face. And so after I ignored it, um, it got worse from there. Like the comments became worse and worse over time. I remember, and maybe I shouldn't have done this, but I remember feeling, um, 
feeling bad about it. Like maybe I should have just not went out with him because maybe she still likes him. I started saying like, a lot of girls like you at the job. Like I already know one that likes you. And I never told him who, I was just saying. And he tells me, I already know who you're talking about. And I'm like, no, you don't. And I was like, I'm not gonna tell you who I'm talking about because that's private. Wait, I'm sure you don't know who I'm talking about. And he says her name. So he didn't know. And he was like, please don't bring that up because uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm already uninterested. So please don't. So I never said anything to her about it. Never said, never brought her up again to him at the time. So it wasn't serious. Like we didn't date like in a full blown relationship, but we were dating here and there. And um, it didn't amount to much. We kind of stopped and I started dating someone else. Her behavior still didn't stop. It started then and then it just got worse from then on. I gotta sometimes try to remember my next step because me talking to you guys, I forget <laughs> my makeup routine. There were a lot of people standing around the desk and gosh, I can't remember. Again, I, it's, it's been so many years, I can't remember what the conversation was about. And maybe it came down to hair, can't remember. This is one of the worst comments she made towards me. And the reason why I'm gonna say that it definitely was worse this time because this wasn't in private. She said it in front of people to embarrass me. So we're standing around. I can't remember exactly what the topic was. And that's when she goes, well, at least mine's real, you know, about her hair. I'm referring to my hair because at the time my hair wasn't as long as it is now. My hair was really, really short. So I wore wigs all the time. And it was just, it was so embarrassing to me. And also it was embarrassing as a black woman. You already know how we are about our hair. People make rude remarks like that. We already know already what it means. It's meant to be mean and nasty when it comes to our hair. So um, she said that and I'm like, what did you say? Like, and the girl standing next to me was like shocked. Like she was black, I think the girl. And she was shocked. Like, okay, like, where, did I, where, where did it come from? It came out of nowhere. Like it was just out of the blue when she said it. And that's when I realized like, okay, like this is, this isn't good. Like this isn't, this isn't going anywhere. And again, sadly, I didn't say anything to her. I kind of just let it go because you're not used to friends doing this to you. And we have been friends for such a long time. I felt like, like this can't be like, why would she, why would she be hurting my feelings on purpose? One of the last things she did that kind of caused the relationship to break down, lying. I'm talking about like blatant, blatantly lying. I noticed something in her where I would be attracted to a guy and I tell her about him. The job that we had, there were constantly new people there. Constantly. Like there was always someone new there. So there was always uh, fresh meat, I guess. <laughs> And all of a sudden, she comes to me and be like, oh my gosh, guess what? And I'd be like, what? So-and-so hit on me. And it would always be a guy that I mentioned to her. It would never be a guy that I kind of did not mention. It would always be a guy who I mentioned to her that I liked. Oh, he was hitting on me. And that was so weird to me. I'm like, why would she lie about that? Why would she lie about being hit on by this person? Like, it doesn't make sense. That's freaking insane. Like, why would that be? I thought about her lying, but I'm like, why would she do that? guy that I liked, the one who I was going out with, who I mentioned earlier, we were still good friends and I still kind of liked him. So, of course, she came running to me. Oh, he asked me out. And I'm like, hurt. Like, why would, why would he do that? He, and you know, especially when he told me that he had no interest in this girl whatsoever. How? And she was like, yeah, he asked me to go out and he also wants to teach me how to drive because I can't drive. Like this was the first time I was like, okay, like this is getting really, really crazy. How every guy I like somehow seems to like her or falls romantically head over heels with this girl. So there usually I would just kind of ignore it, but this like really bothered me. Like, cause I'm like, I'm still talking kind of, I mean, we weren't dating, we weren't in a relationship. He had free reign to do whatever he wanted when he wanted. But I'm like, why would you lie then? Like, and why is every guy I like freaking in love with this girl? Like, it doesn't make sense, you know? She actually, which I didn't mention, had a lot of issues dating, but I'll come back to that when I finish the story. So I decided, you know what? I'm This time I'm not letting it go. So I actually went to the guy who she claimed said this to her. 
And I told him how I felt. I was like, I'm really hurt. That like, why would you do that? Like that makes no sense. I was like, you were interested in her. Why didn't she, why did you go out with me? It wasn't necessary. Like you could have just you could have just not went out with me if you really wanted to be with her. And he's like, he was like really dumbfounded. Like, what the hell are you talking about? And I'm like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And he's like, no, I don't. What the hell are you talking about? You asked Laura. I'm like, you asked her out. And he was like, no, I didn't. What are you talking about? Now I think he's lying now because I'm like, you know, why would she be lying? And he's a guy, like he's probably lying about it. So I kept hassling him. I'm like, you know, whatever. I'm like, why would you do that? Like, you know, I'm like, you're a jerk or whatever. And he's like, listen, it makes you feel better tomorrow when you're at work. I will ask you in front of her. And we're straightening this out. Weird. Why would he, why would he even want to do that if he knew that he was lying? I texted her right after that. And I'm like, why did you, I'm like, I spoke to him. He said, no, and he never asked you out. What are you talking about? And this is when I knew that something was really, really wrong with this woman and she needed help. She tells me, I never said that to you. I mean, what, what's that word they use? Gaslighting? She's like really gaslighting me, this girl. Like someone gaslights you, you second guess yourself. You think that you're crazy. And I was so pissed off. I was embarrassed too because I went to him asking him something like that, which is really embarrassed. That's when I decided that I didn't want anything really to do with her anymore. You know, I had decided that it was best for me to move on with my life. And, you know, I was working on not working at that job anymore anyway. I really need to trim my eyebrows. They're getting bad. And they're actually growing. Before I had no eyebrows. Now I find myself having to trim them. So something's happening. so um, we kind of started to barely see each other people weren't really utilizing Instagram like that people were still like on the whole Facebook thing so um, I had stopped speaking to her on Facebook yeah so I think that she knew that the jig was up that I knew that something was wrong here or something was wrong with her I'm not sure but I think that she got the pictures so that's why the relationship kind of went down too I stopped speaking and then she stopped speaking Okay, so I got to do my eyeliner and I always have trouble with that. So give me a second. ending but the friendship you know it made it easier to end because it wasn't like she was there like oh hey what's going on with you what happened you know it's kind of like she got it too like whatever so earlier when I mentioned she had issues dating this is exactly what I meant and like I said I'm not going to use her name because it's you know a private situation for myself and for her she had a lot of issues dating I mean it just never worked out for her and I was always really supportive of her. You know, as far as not giving up and not, you know, letting things like that bother her. Stay strong and stay committed to who she was as a, as a person, as a woman. And as you know, a lot of young guys, they sometimes don't respect that about a woman. And so she would date a guy for a while and then she would tell him. And guys would normally break up with her right after that. And you know, I would always advise her to stay strong, stay strong and stay true to who she is. So, um, I think that led to a lot of her jealousy also, you know, because she kept seeing people and relationships and stuff and that, and she really couldn't talk about it because she had never experienced it. So I think that she was jealous of a lot of different girls. I don't think that it was just me or angry with me. I think that she was angry with a lot of different women or girls at our our job at the time. I think that it stemmed from a lot of pain she had, which I was always supportive. It's not like I tried to push her or anything or I told her, you know, I gave her bad advice. I always gave her solid advice. So it always hurt me that she turned around and treated me that way, you know? And now that I think back, I'm like, maybe she was really angry at the time and, you know, dealing with her 
uh, relationship issues, but either way, you don't deserve to be treated like crap because somebody's going through something or dealing with something that has nothing to do with you. You are responsible for your own healing and your own feelings. So, you know, I don't give her a pass for that. Just sometimes I think about maybe that was the reason why I was treated that way by her. I'm not sure. She was a woman of color, but she wasn't black. That's why that comment she made about my hair that day really, really hurt me because I knew that she knew what that meant to a black woman. Like she's not, she's not stupid, you know, and that's why she said it. But either way, that toxic behavior is no excuse. And I'm so happy that I ended the friendship because I really don't know where that thing was going, honestly. You know, be careful who you call your friend and who you call important in your life because sometimes those friendships have to end and it sucks. It really sucks when you have to end the friendship because they're om they almost become kind of like your family and when they have to end, shit is whack. Sorry. It's hard. It's hard on you mentally to be able to say, this is not working out. This is no longer my friend. And I've had that happen in all different aspects. Even with social media, there were some girls that I knew and I had to kind of end the social media friendship. I don't know if that's what you would call it, but because they became weird and their behavior became something that didn't sit comfortably. Why can't I say that word? It didn't sit well with who I was as a person. Now, there was a girl who I felt like was kind of like my Instagram friend. Like she was such a cool person starting out. And then she got weird. Like I said, it's like they get weird. I don't know. It went from her making really cool comments and applauding me and liking all my posts and she was really nice. We would have little chats like in the comments and I thought she was really cool. Now, I didn't know her in person, but just on Instagram, I thought that she was cool. Again, it started with the small little comments that I found rude. Like, why are you talking to me like that? And why are you like basically making fun of me? And again, that's when you're leading you're that's when you're leading into toxicville when they start making fun of you and passing it off as just banter or a joke posted a pair of shoes i got from one of those websites i can't remember it was so many years ago now but one of these websites that have clothing from overseas kind of like shein now shein is but this was something else at the time i can't remember the name and i posted my shoes and she said this in a rude way, by the way. Oh, you must love shopping from China. You must love getting stuff from China. And I think she posted the frog in the cup. You know, that little meme with the frog in the cup. And it was like weird. Like, women don't make remarks about other women like that unless they're trying to be rude. I'm just putting that out there. That's not cool. That's not normal. Your friends shouldn't be doing that. Friends or family. It was small little remarks like that leading up to this big blowout we had. It was actually, it's just crazy. It was International Women's Day. And I posted a few women that inspired me. You know, my fashion sense or whatever, they inspired me. And at the time, I was really influenced by Kim Kardashian's style, her fashion sense. But I chose this day to choose other women that I really admire. Instead of her today, I'm going to choose other women. And I posted that. For International Women's Day, I posted a collection of multiple women and she like went off. Like she flew into a rage and she's like, why isn't Kim up here? I get why you didn't put her up here because you think that you have to be politically correct and she is a part of you. Fashion is your life. It was the weirdest, the weirdest argument I've ever been in in my life. Stupidly, I responded to her because I was shocked. It wasn't nasty. But I think that I told her, like, I can post whoever the hell I want. Like, it's not my job to post women that you like or you think that I should be posting. And I told her, at the end of the day, you don't know me. You know, as it was happening, I'm really staring at the screen. And I'm like, is this woman really arguing with me because I didn't post who she think I should post for International Women's Day? And that's when I realized, no, this wasn't about that. She didn't like me anyway. So she used that to say what she had to say to me. I ended up blocking her. I think a year later, she wrote me a message on Instagram and she's like, hey, I just want to apologize for our argument. Hope that we can be friends again. <laughs> that's, that's not me. That's not me. Oh, it's not you? Maybe it's your twin sister skiing around town. Uh, she ain't real, y'all. Oh, she ain't real. Oh, look at collecting. 
and I ignore the message. Because once you're out, you're out. That's the way I operate. Not everybody is like that, and that's very sweet. I don't do that. Once you're out of my life, you need to stay out. Because I'm a very empathetic person, and I try to be nice when I can, and I make mistakes too, and sometimes I may do something to hurt someone's feelings, and I'm totally willing to apologize for it and find out where I went wrong. But people like that, they keep going. People like that don't change. This is who they are, and you need to get out of there. And also, when it comes to friendship, whatever. I, I personally feel like some, some friendships are worth fixing, and some friendships are worth um, nothing. Sadly, at the end of the day, people come and go in your life. That's the way life is. They come and go, and they're not always meant to stay. So, yeah. I like to make sure my blush is really noticeable because I love the way it looks against my skin. Okay, I'm going to be using this lipstick by Tom Ford, and this is called Nubile. Nubile? I'm not sure. I love this color. <clears throat> I'm like obsessed with all of Tom Ford's lipsticks right now. They're just so pretty. I don't always contour my nose. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Today I, I decided to do it. Sometimes I forget, so that's why it's a sometimes do, do or don't. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Remember to subscribe and remember to follow me on Instagram. I always link my Instagram handle at the end of each video. And next time, I promise I'm going to try to remember to look here instead of here. So thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Bye.